morning. So it is 27th of January. It is the first vlog of 2020. I hope you guys had a very joyous new year and a lovely Christmas. Um, today is the first day that I am back to lectures. Um, it's about almost 25 past 10. Ooh, so I'm just sitting here chilling ready to go to my lectures which I will leave for in about 10 minutes. I just wanted to have a quick chat with you guys um, about something that's to me very important um, and that is Holocaust Mem Memorial Day because that is today. If you guys follow me on Instagram you will know that because I like to commemorate that day um, with you know, an Instagram post, as it's the 21st century. Um, and as it's 2020, it is the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. Um, like I said, I like to commemorate this day every year and have done so for the past couple of years um, because I feel like it is just as important as ever. And I know that there are people out there and there are historians out there who, and neo-Nazis out there who, sorry my arm was getting tired, um, who claim that the Holocaust did not exist. I've been to Auschwitz and Auschwitz-Birkenau, I can promise you the Holocaust existed. I've been to three um, Nazi um, concentration and death camps. I've been to Sachsenhausen in Berlin, um, I've been to Auschwitz and Auschwitz-Birkenau in Poland, um, which is a very worthwhile trip. It's a very hard-hitting trip and not one that should be taken lightly, but it is definitely one which you should go on. Um, not because it's enjoyable, but because the Holocaust and the horrors of it are never fully understood. I mean, they're, they're just never going to be fully understood, but I think the best way that us as a 21st century and a modern day society can understand that is by going to the places and visiting them because Auschwitz is very much still standing, you know, Birkenau is a different, you know, it's, most of it's blown up, but Auschwitz one is, they were old army barracks, so they are stone buildings, they are very much still standing, um, all of it is still there, uh, apart from some of the gas chambers and the crematorium, because they were blown up. Um, but Birkenau, a lot of the, um, I don't want to say huts, what's the word? Barracks. A lot of the barracks were made by the inmates and were made of wood, so were easy to burn. Um, and they were burnt. They were burnt on this day because they heard that the Red Army were fast approaching and they wanted to get rid of all traces. When the Red Army arrived at Auschwitz, they discovered around 7,000 inmates that were still at Auschwitz. Um, they discovered around 600 corpses of those who were rotting. And, yeah, it's very sad. But also, in a way, very happy because these people were liberated. Auschwitz was one of, among one of the last camps to be liberated. Um, by the Russians, so the Red Army. I find this topic very fascinating, personally, and very heart-hitting. Um, I've been fascinated about it by, from a very young age. I studied it at A-level history, and I feel like we should really follow along with what, take take home the the message and the motto of the Holocaust Memorial Association, at least I think that's what they're called, um, their kind of 
motto, which is never again. That is certainly one that we should keep in mind, and I feel like today, you know, is a very important day. So I'm back from my BSL lecture, which lost about two hours. Um, sorry, I just put something in the bin. And I have been emailing back and forth with some lecturers about my course because they fucked up my timetable. So um, a module that they said that I was doing I don't actually have to do because I got an email back in August saying that I had to do this module and it wasn't on my timetable. So I emailed them and said, look, this module's not on my timetable. Can you sort this out? So like, okay. And so there's a module on my timetable that I'm not supposed to be doing. And then there's a module that I'm supposed to be doing that's not on my timetable. And I'm supposed to have those lectures today. But we're missing out on a week's worth of stuff. Because they fucked up. So. Yeah. Great. So now I just need to work out. What I'm going to do instead, whether we're going to try and figure out whether we can go to the lectures run that was supposed to be going to today, or whether I just have to give it a miss this week. Um, because according to eVision, I am registered for those lectures, so I don't want to miss that lecture and then get told off at the same time. I don't want to waste my time and go to a lecture that I don't have to go to. So, Alex, what's the time? Okay. Oh, I got an Amazon Alexa for Christmas. Well, an Alexa dot or an Echo dot or whatever you want to call it. Sorry, I'm just undoing my coat. Um, so I need to sort that out and figure out what we're going to do. So, sorry, I'm just eating. Um, this does mean that I finish, that I can clock off at three. So I'm gonna to go to my psychology lecture. Um, and then, which is at two, so I'm gonna leave for that in about half an hour. So it's almost 20 past now, so. I'll leave for that in about 25 minutes, half an hour. Um, and then I'll come back and then I'll be done until six so because originally I wouldn't be done until five so they're gonna have a fun time because because my education lecture clashes with my psychology one they're gonna have to sort out not only the education timetable but also the psychology timetable so and then probably about four other different topics sorry four other different schools their timetables because clashes and everything well that's what happens when there's a um, module on my timetable I'm not supposed to be doing. So that's just great. Because it's confusing because both of them. So I got an email back in August saying that, um, confirming all my modules I was supposed to be doing. And on that I had both of the modules. And only one of them was on my timetable. And it was on eVision. And it was on the website. So I assumed that okay, I meant to be doing that and not the one that I thought I was supposed to be doing. Turns out it was the other way around. So at least I don't think I need to do a presentation anymore, so that's good. Um, so I think that module I had to do 
a group presentation but it does mean that we are going to miss out on a week's worth of information and oh, it's not up on my K it's not up on the Kaylee yet so it's not even like I can look at the slides and make notes I'd be surprised if there's playback which is not fun another lecture to go to um, psychology I was toing and throwing between going to my education one but then one of my friends pointed out that it's not properly well they may change their minds and say that we're not actually doing that module anymore so uh, sure, but yeah good point so uh, so I'm gonna go to the psychology one and uh, my bottle has leaked My papers all wet. Great. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so it's about four o'clock, and I've clocked off. I came back about three from my psychology lecture. Um. I'm really, really annoyed, basically, because my new education module, the lecture time clashed with my psychology lecture, and yeah. But it does mean that I can clock off at three today. So just had a quick phone call with Alex. And now I'm just, I'm going to watch some Happy Valley, I think. I'm going to watch an episode, or a couple of episodes. Um, and then going to go to band. I might prepare like a quick snack or something later before band. I have band at six and it's now like Alexa what's the time? Alexa what's the time? Quarter to four. Um uh, Saturday's video will be to do with Alexa, so keep an eye on that on my other channel. My thumbs look really tiny. My thumbs aren't that tiny, I promise. My fingers are really long. I was actually tested for my fans because my fingers are so long. Also because I have scoliosis. But yeah, I'm just going to sit down. Get up. Netflix. If you don't watch Happy Valley, I highly, highly suggest it. It's got Sarah Lancashire in it. And she is amazing. There's two series. And they're both on Netflix. And they are amazing. I'm up. I've already watched... Um, I think I've watched both of them already, but I'm just binge watching them again because I got the box set for Christmas a couple of years ago and I was like, I want to take it back to uni with me. And I just didn't because it wasn't enough for them. And then I realised it's on Netflix. So I was like, yes. Um, it's a BBC programme, so it's British. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I got the box set a couple of years ago for Christmas and I just never got around to opening it um so now i can and i've been binge watching loads of tv over the weekend because that's what you do on weekends i finished the whole series of ghosts and i'm so gutted that like that's all there is i know there's been three seasons sorry three series because there's been three series confirmed the next one is coming out in a couple of months so that's exciting um I don't know if Happy Valley is coming back or not, but um, there's two series of that, so I'm on series two, episode three, so I'm going to start watching that and have it up on my laptop, so yeah. Sorry if this has been a boring vlog, but I might as well close it out. Um, it's about half five, but I'm still in leggings and my supper socks, um, but yeah, I'm going to close out today's vlog. My cushion for my schloch and yes I have teddies on my bed and I am 19 deal with it I really don't care um so yeah so I will talk to you guys on Wednesday 
um, I'm glad that I'm back on to my normal schedule and all my links for like my social media and stuff are in the description box below and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I hope it wasn't too chatty I know most of my job my jogs I, I know most of my vlogs are but yeah so I shall see you on Wednesday bye guys <laughs>